Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass here, and welcome back to Arya's story. Previously, we started exploring the romance world, where things were very romantic, kind of. Alright. So is this the end of this area, or is this a new puzzle? There's many books here. The heart. A huge statue of wings. This statue is called Air. What a coincidence. That's what my name means, too. I don't think it's a coincidence. You are the center of attention in this place. The books talk about you, and there's someone narrating what you do. I think this statue represents you. Really? It seems kind of excessive. I'm not that important of a person. I don't deserve a statue. You're right. I do instead. Oh, maybe there's also a statue that represents you. I doubt it. I already told you that you're the center of attention in this place. <laughs> then I'll design one for you. That's not necessary. <sighs> what would your statue be? A amount of ideas. <sighs> hey, are you listening to me? What does your name mean? Maybe that'll give me an idea. Huh? My name. Uh, well, my name means... What's wrong? It's gonna reveal too much about his dark past. You don't know what it means? No. My name is Naruto Uchisaki huh? Sasuke X Naruto. My parents were Naruto fans. That's why he doesn't say it. Um, uh, yes. That's it. Oh, that's a shame. It doesn't matter. We got more important things to worry about. Hmm. Ooh, a save point. How about just, uh, just rev up that save point right there. Nice. Feeling good about myself. <laughs> what? What? Who? Furniture? Am I dead? Oh no, Sleeping Beauty, what? Yeah, that's right, Mr. Spinning Wheel. You ain't messing with me this time. Manly smart. Was this room just purely a trap? It exists to only make my life miserable? I recommend this book. I can't read it. I don't understand this language. Oh, it's a shame they didn't translate it. I'm learning new languages so I can read more books. That's amazing. I have to learn a new language too. What's the next trap gonna be? I'm waiting for it. Little mermaid? This area can't be trapped, can it? <gasps> what? No! Wait, I'm okay. It's just fish. Well, what happened? It seems that these fish escaped from the book. Wait! Oh no, they're gone. It's my fault. I shouldn't have opened the book. They're just fish. It doesn't matter. Don't say that. Every detail is important in the book. However small it may be. Those fish don't matter. She'll try to find them, right? Five years later, deadly super fish released, consuming all on its path. Yes. If I remember correctly, five fish escape. I'm sure we'll find them. Well, at least this room wasn't trapped. Kind of. Maybe we have to go back to that room of the bed now. Like a fish went in there. Or here. That's right, fish. I've got you. There are many books here. It reminds me of my room. Then you should clean your room. It's true. You should clean your room. Do you like chess? Yeah, it's one of my favorite games. Really? I love it too. <laughs> Let's play together one day. I accept your challenge. Hmm. 
chess saw. Why do I keep hearing a heartbeat? Because we're in the heart? Is it really that cliche? The heart. Ah, I see. It loops around. Fish! I know you're in here, fish. Don't try to hide. If I was a fish, I'd hide in here too. Or maybe this room really is just a big lab trap. Never mind. Poo-poo on me if you're trying to make sense of it. Some kind of puzzle? What you looking at? You looking at me? What's going on? Are they supposed to both meet? It'd be nice, you know, if like... I could tell what's going on. Things are being done here. Am I trying to make a path? To up there? No, I don't know. First, I'm just gonna make them meet. Maybe it's book love. You know what I mean? But realistically, it could just be something as simple as, like, making a bridge of some kind. That's all I can think of right now. No, that's down. Up. That's down. Okay, and let's send it... Nope. We accomplished something! Yay! What we accomplished, who knows? Did it reset? No, it stayed the same. So it did have a purpose of some kind. What that is yet, I do not know. We can go to the next floor. So, maybe it was a bridge. Hey, Mr. Statue. He ain't doing me in this time. Fish! Got the fish. Why don't you try to walk in about the bookshelves? You might find something interesting if you try. Secret. Should I be here yet? Tea party. They put a save point here. I don't like that. Fish. You just need one more fish. White and black. Long ago, there were two kingdoms that lived in peace and harmony. The White Kingdom and the Black Kingdom. The princes of each kingdom were together ever since they were born. Chess. However, those happy days ended when a war raged between the two kingdoms and the princes had to be separated. The war seemed endless and streets of two kingdoms were stained in a scarlet color. The princesses, now queens, tried to stop the absurd war that their parents began but failed. When they realized that the war would only end when one of the other two kingdoms surrendered, they devised a plan together. The two went to the battlefield, each holding a silver knife. With those knives, they pierced each other's hearts. 
Scarlet roses bloomed from their hearts because of the love that they felt for each other. The war finally ended. Um, what do you think about this book? Why do you ask? Uh, I was just curious. It doesn't matter. Forget I asked you that question. Hmm. Daddy, daddy? What was that? Oh no, it's a doll. No, it's a book. Okay. Isn't that the book we just read? Oh, you wrote it. So you're like the parent of the book. So that's how books are born. This is really awkward. Huh? What? Daddy. Wait, that means... Lewin, you wrote this book. No. <laughs> yes, it makes sense. Her book, its writer is like its parent. You're wrong. I'm not... Daddy? Uh, don't cry. Books can cry. Well, I knew it. You're the author of this book. Well, yes, I wrote it, but... Please, I want your autograph. Uh. You're both so annoying. But, uh... Glad to meet you. Now return to your bookshelf and go back to sleep. Okay, Daddy. Later. Let's keep exploring. So, about that autograph... That was... an event. What? I'm not gonna complain. Hey, free knife. So I have a knife, I can do something with this. Stab... chess pieces, maybe? Like, in the st I see the game you're playing. I see the game you're playing. You think you can get a one-up that's miss ship on me? It won't happen. I've heard some strange noises coming from that room, but I don't want to enter. So I have to stab the queens. Fish! Yeah, see, this is war. This is what happens she happens on chess. In the story. This chess piece is called Queen. It's the most powerful due to the range of movement it can perform. So I think we get another knife, probably from returning the fish. That's my guess. So then we have two silver knives, and then we can stab each queen. Am I fishing? I got it. Here we go. Give the fish to the book. Okay. Do, do, do I... Do I get a prize, or...? <laughs> I think she wants to give us something. There, a silver knife. I hope you can use it. I couldn't do it myself. You know, I'm so used to statues being deadly that I was a little surprised when one was friendly. Man, I haven't saved in a while. Getting a little vulnerable here. I think I understand what you're trying to do. Give me the other knife. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. L let's do it. Open your eyes. Oh, how... R romantic... What happened? I don't know. I also close my eyes when I use the knife. The atmosphere seems more pleasant. Suppose. We're back at the beginning.
Something ha is happening. Um, what's this? A quill? It's really pretty. How strange. It's warm, but it's cold at the same time. Arya, Arya, can you hear me? Uh, what? A dream. We fell asleep. You too. Yeah, I just woke up. Hmm, I think we fell asleep because of this room. We should get out of here. Yeah. Oh, I know. There's a door back here. I wonder if we're near the end of Romance World. Oh, hello. Seems you've been following me quite a ways away. That shan't be tolerated. Ooh. Nice. Oh, and look at that. This view is beautiful. Kinda is. Something's more prettier than the void. Oh no. It's zooming out. Who's at the back? Statue? Lewin? She's distracted. This is the opportunity I've been waiting for. It's time to end this. But... Why am I shaking? I can't hesitate now. I have to do it. Look like the romance world's having its effect on you. Never mind. The wind. Can I tell you something? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah, just pull away my knife. What? Oh, hey. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll just slice some butter. Do you remember what you told me before? When you told me you were a writer? I think we're a lot like each other. What do you mean? Pay attention. I'm going to tell you a story. Years ago, there was a little girl who loved reading, but no one her age shared her hobby. Other kids thought it was something boring and they laughed at her for having such a strange hobby. Play some video games like a normal person, kid. The girl respected and understood that they didn't share her love of books, but she couldn't help feeling sad. Her parents, who wanted to keep her happiness from disappearing, took her to a library for the first time. Her eyes lit up when she saw so many books and so many other people of all ages who shared her hobby. Ever since, she visited the library every day, and she grew up surrounded by books and happiness. Why are you telling me this? You told me your past before. I thought it would be fair if I told you mine. <laughs> Let's be friends. Huh? Friends. It doesn't matter if no one wants to read your books. I'll read them and I'll tell you what I think. I'm sure that if you don't give up, you'll be a famous writer. Stop. Please stop. Uh. You're making everything more complicated. Stop worrying about me. I don't want you to get involved in my affairs. Uh. Lewin! Where's that statue gonna be when I get out of here? It's to the left now. Hmm. Are you mad at me? No. It's my fault. Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. It's okay. Don't worry. You best keep staying there, statue. Don't want to mess with you anymore. Nice chair. At last, the protagonist and the narrator meet again. She had a determined look on her face, even if she did feel exhausted. You only narrate what I do? Yes, I only need to narrate what you do. Lewin is not important. But do not fret, Lewin. If you want, I can also narrate what you do. That's not necessary. Mm. Hmm. That reminds me. Are you sure you want to stay at this side? Why do you say that? If you are the protagonist, and I am the narrator. <laughs> Lewin could be the antagonist. Ah. <laughs> what? That can't be true. It could be dangerous to stay by his side. The wind saved me many times. I think he's a good person. And I also think you're a good person, narrator. Huh? Me? A good person. You must feel so alone in this place. 
What do you think if we go back to our world together? There is something you still do not understand. I am not a human. I am a narrator. My duty is to narrate what you do. That is all. I do not feel any sympathy towards you. You are like a puppet to me. But... I am telling you that I am a narrator. I am not a boring human. You should calm down. I have no care for any human's life if they fulfilled their purpose for me. When they have entertained me enough, once they die, I will shed no tears for them. Do you understand now? That is what being a narrator is. I am not a good person. And above all, I am not a boring human. That's enough. Like, jeez, calm down. I mean, I tried to murder her, but I wasn't, you know, like a, a dick. The, what is happening to me? My, my head. Uh, it hurts. I think I should leave. It might be called emotion. Or it could just be a headache because you drank a frosty too fast. Narrator. Boring human. I think I'm starting to understand. What if you're a human after all? And you're just acting like the narrator to like compensate for whatever tuny life you live. Oh boy. Chapter 4 Horror. Would it be a sense of irony if the horror world is like the safest one? Like it's quaint. I like irony. When it works in my favor. Considering the save point is right here though, I am not feeling too good. Hmm. <laughs> Okay then. Too dark that way. That's right now, Mr. Knives. That's right, Mr. Knives. Nope, nope. Yeah, what you can do now? I made it to the end. You're feeling pretty pretty lame, aren't you? Yeah, that's what I thought. Hmm, they put another save point right after that thing. Almost like it might be dangerous coming up ahead. Can't be, right? Yeah, it's fine. A book. Why is it transparent? Because it's a boat ghost book. Because I am dead. I am a spirit. <laughs> the dead? Yes. Books die when they are forgotten. No one read me, and I became a spirit. <laughs> you could live again if I read you, right? Oh, your pages are transparent and I can't read them well. No one's gonna read this one Freddy fan fiction. It's too late. You can't do anything for me. We don't have to keep other books from ending up like me. Can you promise me that? Yes, I promise. Yes. Mm. Now what I do with my life. Yeah, you're not gonna freak me out. I know your game. You think all these hanging dolls scare me? I've seen worse. Don't try it. So here's the locked door, I'm assuming, yeah. So let's go right first. Was there something moving above me? Hey, Mr. Bun Bun! Well, was it one Bun Bun? There, there, there. Oh, great. Oh, no. I already forgot it. I have like a vague inkling. Shell and dark. Now here... Then... Oh! I did it! Maybe my memory's not as bad as I thought. The bright sun to the north, to the deep sea to the south. 
the lush forests to the east and the pink carnations to the west. Hmm. Oh, there's so many spiders here. Spiders, you can't do this. Books are scared. Sacred, rather. Have horror on the mind. Are you talking to a spider? So this, this was just for a clue. Bright sun to the north, deep sea to the south, lush forests to the east, and pink carnations to the west. Nice. Okay, so... Green? Oh, whoops! We do some dark magic. Okay. Sun? I'm assuming he's yellow. C should be south. Pink carnations. This way. And then we gotta put the ocean in. Shazam! Maybe it was reversed. Whoops. Nope, well now, well now, I gotta redo it anyway. Okay. So it was pink west, actually, that's where I messed up. Okay. But Ocean South and Sun North were, in fact, correct. Whoops. Hello there. Key. Take it. That's the key. To getting out of here. 100 saves! Ooh, the cemetery key. I'm gonna enjoy this. Welcome to the cemetery. These are the graves of the books that haven't been forgotten. What's this? Let's see. Dune. The Wheel of Time. Star Wars, a novelization. Hmm. History of the World. Yep, that's a forgotten one. Why did you die? You were an incredible book. Don't cry. Even if you can't see me, I'll always be by your side. What happened? Why can't the other book see me? I came to visit the grave of my best friend. I hope he likes these flowers. Labyrinth. So, David Bowie's at the end? Jump, match, jump, jump, magic. Well, I'm already at dead end. You're fine. In doubt. Hmm. What's with all the creaking? No, seriously, what's with all the creaking? Yeah, no, there's a door opening now. What is going on?